presenting my new and improved digital assistant. No more blah computer voice spitting out boring info. She's got personality to the max and is pre-programmed with 1,000 protocols proven to get you out of any sticky situation. Meet Genie 2.0. Hey, gal pals. Genie 2.0, take us to the park. Ooh, the park. Love a little fresh air on my motherboard. Ooh, me lucky. She's got sass. But don't you hate it when people let their dogs run all over the park? Major buzzkill. <laughs> Genie, telephone pole at 10 feet and closing. You think I don't know how to fly this thing? Chill out, Shawnee. Polly, <laughs> your PTA is more annoying than llama hair leggings. Say what? <laughs> Okay, Jeannie, that's enough! Incoming weather drone! It's not working! Jeannie! We're sorry, Jeannie 2.0. Take us home, please? Pretty please? Fine. Now that you've apologized, home it is. <sighs> Based on that evidence, I think the personality Chippy put in Jeannie was too strong. 10.3 times too strong. I'll need to override it when we get home. Hey, what are you talking about? Let Genie 2.0 in on it. Uh, nothing. Just, um, the science fair. Polly, what's your project? Oh, you should totally do something about miniaturization. You would so win first prize. It's a science fair. It's supposed to be science-based, not locket-based. I'm just saying, she's the princess of pocket-sized. That was too much fun, huh, guys? Yeah, too much. Oh, BT Dubs, I could use a cleaning. I got seriously goose bombed. Okay, sure. And an oil change while you're at it. On the double, Polly. Oh, boy. Come to think of it, a double shine polish would be nice. You can never look too fly when you're chilling in the sky. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. Whoa. Is that a satellite design, Mrs. Pocket? Sure is, Johnny. I have a big presentation coming up, but it's still not quite right. I'm building a rocket for my science fair project. And since you're an aerospace engineer and all, I'm happy to take a look, Johnny. It's biofuel powered. So what do you think? Well, the tapered nose looks perfect to achieve escape velocity, uh, but make sure you have fins for stabilization, okay? Thanks for the tips, Mrs. P. I'll make some tweaks and do more beta testing. The last girl I saw that excited about rocket science was... me. <laughs> I thought we were doing homework. Are you gardening? It's my science fair project. I bred the pea plants so they'd grow in rainbow colors. Rainbow? Ooh, that's a hot look but not as hot as my project. I'm going totally vintage and doing a rabbit through a maze thing. Really? How did you teach Benita to go through the maze? I didn't. That's why my hypothesis is that she won't be able to do it. Simple but elegant. I like it. But what about the science? Meh. Shrunk them so they'd be easier to carry. Now to make them normal size. Go big! Now, now, science teacher in the house. I see what you did here. You do? Indeed. Crossbred to get miniature pea plants? Very impressive. Uh, yeah, thanks. So, tell me, how did you do it? Um, well, it wasn't like it was anything weird or supernatural, because we all know, uh, that's not scientific. Well, however you did it, it looks like you are the one to beat this science fair. Not cool, Polly. All you did was use your locket. But I didn't... Do you know how long I worked on this rocket? But Shawnee... Ugh! Wow, I haven't seen Shawnee so upset since she got that pony for her birthday instead of a Bunsen burner. 
can't believe I built a real roadblock for my science project. I'm so smart. I told you a hundred times, it's me in here, and I built this from stuff around the house. Remember the plan. You pretend to activate the robot, then I'll pretend it's going haywire and rampage around the gym. Yeah, I know. Then when everything's not so, you grab the locket. What's this button for? I had to boil the toaster. Mmm, oh. any jam in there? Oh, the oh, Shawnee's got it wrong. I hope she'll hear me out when I apologize. Time to test this robot that I built with my own two hands. Greetings, humans. I am Grizztron, the totally mechanical, non-human, non-miniature loving robot. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. <laughs> warning, warning. Circuit overload, circuit overload. <laughs> for this mess? Oh, Principal Mondo! Thanks, Thanks Gwen. Gwen. This totally is not what it looks like. We were chased by a mean old lady in attacking robot suit. I have heard enough of this. You two go to my office now. The rest of you get those projects straightened up. The science fair must go on. Uh-oh, Shawnee's rocket! Excuse me, I need to... I said my office. Now. We've got to get Shawnee's rocket back. No talking. You two almost ruined the science fair. What do you have to say for yourselves? <laughs> One, we didn't do it. And two... Spinach. <clears throat> what? Sorry, Principal Mondo, but you have a little something something in your teeth. Oh. Genie 2.0, initiate protocol 47. Uh, yes, Superintendent. I guess I have time to discuss the new hall pass design with you right now. When I reprogrammed Genie to up her niceness and lower the chattiness, I kept the emergency protocols including the 15 procedures for getting out of the principal's office. So that's why you had Pierce do his impression of Superintendent Stern's work. <gasps> that goes to the trash compactor. Wait a minute, trash compactor? So you're suggesting we follow Shawnee's rocket into a disgusting heap of stinking trash that could potentially be squashed into a small disgusting heap of stinking trash? Just focus on the breeze blowing through your hair. Uh, that's what I thought you were suggesting. You seriously want me to go in there? Tiny power! <laughs> Whoa! Kyle Chang spitballs. Blech. Normally, I would find a rejuvenating cucumber face mask super relaxing, but right now, it's just super gross. Lila, 
those aren't cucumbers. Ah, get it off! Get it off! Oh. Shawnee! Holly? Lila? What are you doing? Finding your rocket. I wasn't trying to cheat with my project. I only shrunk it to make it easier to carry. Yeah! Mrs. Vasquez got the wrong idea! Really? Your project isn't about miniaturization? No, it's about breeding colorful pea plants. I jumped to a conclusion without a complete data set. Scientifically speaking, that's a no-no. <sighs> I'm sorry, Polly. It's okay, Shawnee. Now, I hate to cut this friendship moment short, but if my rocket goes into the compactor, its fuel will go kaboom! Get it! <laughs> Brazil? Skip the pleasantries and give me the locket. Eat mystery me! <laughs> oh, you wanna play dirty, huh? <laughs> Enjoy Taco Tuesday on Friday! <laughs> <gasps> the ultimate weapon! Old sweat socks from the boys' locker room! <gasps> Give me the locket or you'll get a face full of sweat sock! <laughs> no, no. Not only are they old and smelly, but they're mismatched. Now that is a nightmare! Tiny power! <laughs> It must have escaped from the sixth grade classroom. Oh, yeah? I bet your cage doesn't exactly smell like rose petals. Okay, Lila. This way, girls. I think we lost Grizel and Gwen. What's that? Uh, sounds like an earthquake. That's no earthquake. Close. And so are we! <laughs> Polly, we can't just run through the schoolyard tiny. We're gonna have to be stealthy. Come on, ladies, give me a hand. Brilliant! a long ways down, Pocket. Who said anything about down? I'm more into going up. What? You're talking nonsense. Gotta say, Polly, I'm with Grizel on this one. Look, solo dodgeball. Oh, I'm out. I win. Oh! Gwen, pick yourself Go up! Go big, oh. Rocket! Oh. What is the meeting opportunity for two of squadrons? Blast off! She had us 
there for a minute. Yeah, great thinking. On a side note, do you remember in science class when we learned that what goes up must come down? Oh, boy. Tell me you built some kind of parachute into this thing. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be manned or girled. So the only way we get down is if we crash. Wait, there may be a way. Jeannie, do you have a minute? At those coordinates right now. Roger that, Polly. Uh-oh. Stand by for Newton's law in action. Ah! Hey, gal pals. Genie! Okay, come up beside us and track our descent. Was intense. Genie, let's land in the park. Coming right up. So, Genie, you're okay with dogs running around in the park? Sure. I love a puppy snuggling against my digital interface. Genie's fine now. Great idea to change out the personality chip, Shawnee. Mm. Oh yeah. Go big! Glad to be back on the ground and safe! Ah! <gasps> My project! Uh, sorry, Shawnee, but there's always next year. Wait! Shawnee put in a lot of hard work on this year's project. She deserves a chance to win that science fair. How? It's probably almost over. Uh, it'll be tricky, but if we all work together, we might pull it off. What's the plan? You and I stay here and fix the rocket. Lila, you go to the science fair and stall the judges. Good plan. I'll have those judges eating out of my hand. Ooh. That rabbit isn't doing anything. <sniffs> We're done here. Wait! She, uh, only responds to singing. Bonita's been practicing her maze run all the live long day. <laughs> That's your cue, Bonita. Yeah, wait! I mean, she only responds to rapping. Bonita, ya OG bunny, ya jams don't stop. Ya floppy ear girl, put the hoppin' hip hop, so start a hoppin'. A hoppin' hop a hoppin'. A hippity hoppin' a hoppin'. <sighs> if that rabbit doesn't run from that, she'll never budge. Wow, Shawnee, you're a rocket genius! Thanks. Flying the rocket actually let me make a more aerodynamic design for this one. And I added a new feature for you. What is it? I'll tell you on the way. Right now, we've got to get to the gym before the science fair ends. Wait! I know what was wrong! Now she's ready to go! Gotta run in style! All right, that's it. This is a total waste of time. Polly, <sighs> we were just enjoying Lila's project, but would love to switch gears and see that fantastic pea project of yours. Actually, Mrs. Vasquez, I don't have a project. Yes, she does. It's this rocket. I built it and Polly installed Neil. Ready for takeoff, Neil? All set, Shawnee. Three, two, one, see ya. Okay, Neil, let's see your two and a half gainer with a backflip topped off with a slam dunk. Sure thing, Polly. Recon report. Two people lurking in the northwest corner of the gymnasium, and they are emitting an odor of rotten fish sticks combined with dirty sweat socks. Hey, I resent that. We're not lurking. Whoa! All right, we have a winner, and it's Polly and Shani for that amazing rocket! I knew your rocket was gonna win! It was a team effort! Great job, girls! Mom, what are you doing?
doing here? I came to check out all the great new scientific discoveries you kids have made. And your new design gave me an idea for my satellite. Maybe you can teach me how you did that digital pilot? Sure thing, Mom. Congratulations, my young scientists. Thanks, Mrs. Vasquez. I just wanted to say I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Polly. I should have known you never cheat. No worries, Shawnee. <laughs> now let's strut that trophy. Oh, those kids win again. And I still don't have that locket. On the bright side. Robot toast. Oh. All right, Coach. Gotta nail this jump if I'm gonna win gold in the cold fest at the Rocky Taki Resort. Can this please, please, please be the last time? I have to pack for Hawaii. Copy that. Ready when you are, Shawnee. We're good to go. at yard sales. No, it's what you call a wipeout where everything just goes flying like what Polly just... Polly! Polly, I didn't doubt you for a second. What? I'm serious. Go big! Polly Pie! Yeah, Dad? Time to hit the Rocky Taki Mountains. Oh, hi, Lila. Shawnee? Ooh, loving that ski suit, Mr. P. Rad Dad, all the way. <laughs> Thanks, Lila. Fit me in 1986 and still fits today. <laughs> We're leaving at 20 hunt! Yeah, my plane leaves soon too. <gasps> Gotta pack! I got you covered. A stylish and practical outfit for each event. Oh, at least you two have places to show off your spring break wardrobes. I'm stuck on a staycay. If you think Littleton's dull all school year, just wait until everyone's gone for spring break. <gasps> Consider yourself lucky, Lila. Time at home means you can catch up on movies and books and finish writing that fanfic you've been working on. More like counting down the minutes till you guys get back. Don't worry, we'll be talking tons. I need my fashion coach and my sports coach to survive gold in the cold fest. We'll get you some cool souvenirs, promise. Oh, just remember, jewel tones with my complexion. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah! Hope Rocky Talkie's prepared for their yearly dose of Pierce Pocket. Yeah, that's something no one can prepare for. I love that this place never changes. I hear you, hun. Watch it! You'll burn your behinds. Grandma, you made it! I promised that I wouldn't miss another trip to Rocky Talkie. There's no time to waste. I want to hit the hot tub, then the skating rink, then the hot tub, then the ice sculpture exhibit, all before a relaxing sunset dip in the hot tub. <laughs> I like the way you think, Pierce. He's so cute. What's his name? Uh, Paxton, my baby brother. Oh, ew. And you're coming with me. Hey, we're practically the same person. Genetics. I need to train for gold in the cold fest. Gotta work out the border cross kinks. I'll join you, Polly. Let's put on our winter duds and hit the powder. Yeah. Fair warning, I've seen some stiff competition around here. 
That's why I've been having some pocket-sized practice. Every year that we come here, I've watched the Gold in the Cold Fest and dreamed about winning the gold. Now that I'm old enough to compete, I'm gonna give it my all. Shawnee, having fun in the sun? Yes! I just saw two dolphins jump over a sailboat under a rainbow. I'm also having a marvelous time on my couch watching movies with Bonita. We just finished Quacknophobia, the heart-wrenching story of a boy and his fear of ducks. Ooh, I've been meaning to stream that. So, is the coaching staff almost ready for our first practice run? Indeed. Hold it. Show me the threads. Ooh, that's so sizzling. It might melt the snow. Thanks, Lila. Wish me luck. Camera check. Mic on. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Grandma? Everything okay? Grandma? I, um... Lila, Shawnee, I'll call you back. Grandma? Uh, wouldn't you rather get some hot chocolate, dear? Sure, Grandma. Let's warm you up. <gasps> the Gold in the Cold Fest trophy! Cool! Wait, is that you? Indeed it is. Two-time champ. But that was a long time ago. I can't believe you didn't tell me. Well, let's just say my last competition wasn't my best. In the first event, my figure skates were twisting and turning, light as a feather. The luge course was extra icy that day, and I was on my game. Then came the final event. The race was close. Griselle Grande and I were neck and neck the whole way, but then, it happened. Somehow my ski caught an edge. A classic yard sale took a big tumble, lost my equipment and the competition. And now, every time I put on my skis, well... Grandma, I had no idea. Sorry, dear. I thought I could get over it. But being at the top of that run with you made it all come back. I've been trying to forget that fall for over 50 years. And yet, sometimes it's all I think about. What went wrong? Don't worry, we'll get you back on the slope soon enough. But first, Coco. Liquid chocolate has solved many a problem. Did you see me wipe out? My equipment flew everywhere. Of course I saw it. Your ski pole nearly pegged me. But it did give me an idea about how we'll finally get that locket. After Polly wipes out and her equipment is spread all over the mountain, <laughs> we'll run down and steal the locket! Gigi, you've done it again! No names! I'm Coach Drizel, and you're Gwendo Forfia. We're from somewhere else. Now, it's time for us to make that pocket girl wipe out! It'll be the biggest and best yard sale of the year! <laughs> more, Gwen, more! <laughs> Sorry about earlier. I was taking a tour down memory lane. All good. Everything okay? Think so, but it's a long story. Whatever you do, please do not tell me you are hiking up a volcano in the most majestic setting on Earth. Okay, I won't. But you are, right? Uh, yeah. So, are you ready, Polly? I hope so, but I didn't get to do a border cross practice run. Grandma was frozen stiff with fear. Turns out she competed in Gold in the Cold Fest, too. Wow! Cool! Not the fear thing, but the Gold in the Cold Fest thing. Go on! But she wiped out. And now, I'm gonna do everything in my power to win this thing for her and restore glory to the Pocket family name. Well. Gold is my favorite color, and if you're going to win it, we need to get to work. Absolutely. Whoa, Mom, watch out! Your feet! Sorry, call you right back. The annual Spring Break Gold in the Cold Fest competition is about to begin. Contestants, please make your way to our first event, Figure Skating! Pretty good. 
good. Hold the phone. Literally. Outfit check. Perfection. Remember, the end of your routine is the most difficult. So keep hydrated and stretch. Copy that, coach. Shani, why are you yelling? And what's that sound? You're in a helicopter, aren't you? Next, Next up, up Polly, Polly Pocket. Pocket. Double P's. P square. It's called alliteration, Jack. I'm up. Gotta go. You can do this! More importantly, how much do the judges love your outfit? <laughs> oh no! Try to regain your balance! Stay low and extend your arms! <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, Grandma. Oh, no worries, sweetie. You'll get him on the next one. <laughs> I fun! I fun! I really fun! <laughs> Be safe, Polly! Yeah, what she said. Safety first. Shawnee, you there? Camera check. Hi! Looks good. How you feeling? I'm okay. I had a big breakfast, and before you ask, yes, it included one of your banana smoothies. And the protein bars I gave you for extra energy? Got him. How are the conditions? I've developed a complex matrix to analyze every variable and possible outcome for your run. According to my stats, riders are having the most trouble with two tricky turns. If you maintain focus, watch your speed, and lean hard into those turns, you should be able to avoid a wipeout and win the race. Thanks, coach. Don't forget to lean! I'm so bored. I painted my nails like 400 times already. Lila, shh! Polly is in the middle of her run! Whoops! Go, Polly! Hey, Lila! Oh, the second turn is coming up. But slow down! You're going too fast! Shawnee, the track was tampered with. That sounds so unfair. Ah! Uh-oh. I'm looking at the Rocky Talkie weather report. A big storm is approaching. Ugh, even the weather is against me? Is it weird that even though I should be parasailing over a sunset right now, I'm having more fun hanging with my best friends? Oh, that's the cutest. Aw, oh, Shawnee. But I have to be honest. I don't feel good about this event. Polly Pocket! I've seen footage on every racer here, and you're the best by far. Chin up! Preach on, sister. We know this course inside and out. Every twist and turn, every icy patch to avoid. Combining your skills with my instructions... And my style. We can't be stopped. I'll be there every step of the way to guide you. Now get out there and crush this thing! Let's do it! Oh! I'm okay! Thanks, Shawnee. <sighs> I feel better. Ish. Storm's blowing in fast. Can I get a status update, Coach? Coach? We need an update here. Shawnee? You there? Lila? Anyone? Hello, Hello gold, gold in the Cold, cold Festers! After the first two events, Gwendo Furfia leads the pack, but there's tight competition for everyone except Polly Pocket. Winner of the name game, but last place in Gold in the Cold Fest, the game that actually matters. 
Riders, please make your way to the starting line. This one is the main event. The creme de la creme. The big kahuna. The... I need a vacation. Oh, you've had some tough luck, dear. But don't worry. If you win the final event, you still have a shot at a medal. Not the gold one, but a medal nonetheless. I'm in last place, it's storming, and I lost my coach. Oh, what's the use? Sorry, Grandma, but I quit. Polly, please, you can't quit. But you did. Maybe this mountain wasn't meant for the Pocket family after all. I don't want you to go down the same road, or in this case, the same hill that I did. Please don't quit. You might regret it for the rest of your life. Fear isn't the answer. I'm not afraid. I'm just... Uh, a little scared of the complete and utter humiliation that awaits. We all have to face our fears eventually. Just trying your best is success in itself. Okay, I'll race, but only under one condition. Borders, take, take your, your marks. marks. Get, Get set. set. Whee! What a rush! Now lean hard into the turn. Thanks, Coach Grandma. After this straightaway, big right turn. You've got this! Listen closely, Gwen. This is imperative. Make sure Polly is in first when you get to the midpoint of the race. Let's just say she won't know what hit her. Copy. Copy what? I'll have to take that as a yes. Order. Don't pay any attention to her. This is your race, Polly. We're gaining on her. No, 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 no! That's not what I want! Grandma, hang on! Out of the way! It's coming right for you! Use the locket, Polly! That's it! Great race, honey. You tried your best. I can't believe I lost. I can. Uh, Pax agrees. Hey, cool it, Pierce. Not the time. I'm proud of you, Polly. Even though you didn't win, you did the right thing saving that girl. Thanks, Grandma. You were a pretty stealthy navigator. We'll get him next time. But what was with that snowball? That wasn't some random rogue snowball. Something is going on here. I just can't put my finger on it. What in the name of... I won, Gigi! I really won! No names, Gwen! I said no names! Gwen! Grisel Grande? I knew there was a certain stink in the air. How dare you sabotage this competition? Wait, do you mean sabotage today's competition? Or the one she sabotaged when you were kids? Pardon me, young lady? Yeah, you know, when you were a kid, she sabotaged your race too. And today we sabotage Polly's together. Family tradition. Oh, that was a secret, right? How do you live with yourself? Just fine. I'm a great roommate. You cheated? Yes, I did. But you can't prove a thing. I won and Gwen won. That gold in the cold fest trophy is coming with us. I don't think so, Grizel. Wait! Are you filming this? Every incriminating second. 
Your ski pass has officially expired. But you can't prove a thing. I want... You can't prove a thing. Cheating? In sports? Well, this just won't be tolerated. Unhand me! This is no way to treat a former Gold in the Cold Fest Grand Champion! Not anymore! We're stripping you of your title! Eight, nine, ten. Ha! Huh. Same as the fingers, what do you know? Lila! What's up? Still loving every minute of the staycation? I'm bored. It's terrible. What are you doing? It looks like you're having fun. Oh, nothing. Just a little gourmet picnic by a spectacular waterfall. Please tell me my souvenir isn't one of those silly shirts. <laughs> of course not! But you're a medium, right? <gasps> oh, it's Polly. Let me add her. Hey! I'm on my last run of the day and just wanted to call and say this trip has been really great, but I miss my girls. I miss you both, too. Oh, really? So do I. You're never going to believe what happened. I got Grandma back on the slopes. The competition didn't exactly work out, but I really stepped up on my last run. If there's one thing I learned from Quacknophobia 2 Return of the Quack, it's that winning isn't everything. And ducks love pickles. Anyway, I want to hear every little detail when you get back. Hurry home, please. Bye. Polly, wait! What size are you? They're gonna love them. Ready, Polly? We'll hit the border cross course one more time, just for fun. Looks like Grandma got her groove back. Hey, wait up, Speedy McSpeedster! Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Now that was a yard sale. The pocket sports gene clearly skipped a generation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay! You ready? Uh, born ready. How about you? Ditto, Nicholas. Or shall I say, Flippolis? <laughs> Whatever you say, Folly Pocket. Okay, okay. Enough trash talk. Let's just do this and figure out once and for all which of you is the best climber. Ready, set, go! You can do this. Huh. Now that's a good one. I'm on top of the non-perishable world! I can do anything! Hey, I just made that joke. I didn't hear it because I was so far ahead of you. <laughs> Uh. Principal Mondo's signature hall walking whistle? Quick, hide! Shani, Scantville Middle's principal posted a pic of herself on Face Place with her honors kids. And I need to get more likes for, uh, uh well, uh, you know, um, uh, grown up job purposes. Ooh. These food drive cans will be the perfect backdrop for my selfie. Uh, those cans? <laughs> um, you see, well, Principal Mondo, the thing about those cans is... What was that? Hiccup! Hiccup! Sorry, <laughs> that's me. Terrible case of the hiccups. Right. <laughs> well, I'll just take a few... Ah! Hmm. Hiccups and a case of the clumsies. <laughs> well... You're having quite a rough day, Shani. Now, get the rest of those cans cleaned up. Polly! Nicholas! Down here! Go big! <laughs> okay, no more goofing around. We need to focus on the food drive. It's only a few hours away. You're right. I want to make a big difference. We're filling up the food bank. Even Captain Collywobbles donated a can of his tuna. Everything is prepped here. Let's hope Lila got the word out. I'm sure she's on top of it. Lila is a natural at spreading news. Remember the time I got a perfect score on the math test? By the end of the day, the whole school knew. Whoop, whoop! Uh, not that I'm complaining, but where is Lila? Probably just out there promoting the big event. Yeah, but seriously, where is she? She hasn't replied to any of my texts. 
Lila not responding to texts? Strange. She responds to texts I didn't even send her. That jacket! Oh, my polka dots! Oh, come on! All of her outfits are perfect! She's the best designer! I need to get her attention. Time to step it up! What do you think, Bonita? Can I be the next Blair, Delaware, or... Something's weird. We should have heard from Lila by now. Maybe we haven't heard from her, but Blair Delaware sure has. Lila's been hearting all of her picks. She's even liking Blair's picks from months ago. Mm -mm -mm. That sounds like a bad case of SMPI. Uh, social media parasite infection? <clears throat> Paranormal experts theorize that it's caused by a small parasite that lodges onto the thumbs, forcing them to post nonstop until the host's only communication is through social media. That's not a thing. But it could be! Still, we have to find Lila and help her. To the mall! Well, that sounded weird not coming from Lila. Nicholas, stay here and supervise the food drive. Can you handle that? Anything is better than going to the mall. Who doesn't just shop online? Uh... Ghost, that's who. Fact, there are more haunted malls than mausoleums. Apparently, ghosts are real shopaholics. But I've checked the Littleton Mall, and it's clean. Which means boring! She has to be here. The mall is her safe place. This could take us all. Hey, my little Lila X. She's blared out. Uh, Lila. Hey. Smoochy, smoochy. Ooh, love the lighting in here. Lila, ready to get back to the food drive? We've been waiting for you all morning. Enough with the negativity. Me upping my style game doesn't mean you have to be jealous Jennies. We aren't jealous. You promised to help with the food drive. Thanks, but I already ate. No, the food drive! Oh, the food court is down that way, across from Shukasa. Lila, the food drive! At school, for the people in need! You were supposed to handle all of the marketing and social media. Oh, that food drive. It's today? Sorry, I totally spaced. Upping my style game is a full-time job. Check out the outfit. Blair loves my work and invited me to her family's exclusive patio party. How cool is that? She really gets me. <sighs> Even her emojis are stylish. Ugh. Patio party? Cool. A great way to celebrate a successful food drive. But we need you now. But the party is this afternoon. If I'm uber on point, maybe Blair will partner with me on a design. It would be huge for my fashion brand. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You understand, right? Yeah, that would be huge for you. Oh, and it's too bad you guys can't come. Invite only. Ultra exclusive. Well, gotta run. Ciao! What's up, Nicholas? Hey, so the good news is a team of news reporters are coming by to shoot a segment on the food drive. We're gonna be on TV! Awesome! The bad news is the food drive is more like a food walk. Or maybe a crawl. The only donations we have are the cans we brought this morning. Aw, so the big news story is gonna be school food drive of food failure tonight at 10. Ugh. This is perfect. Huh. I wonder if Nicholas knows about parasites that make you think terrible things are good, because obviously you have one. No one's donating, and the idea of being on TV makes my stomach feel worse than the time I ate three chili dogs and rode the Whopper Whirler. But Lila would do anything, even wear polyester, if it meant she could be on TV. She loves cameras. Hello, still here. Whoops, sorry, Nick. New plan, we can use the news crew to lure Lila away from Blair's party and back to the food drive. Then she'll have to help. Yep, that sounds like a plan. We need all the help we can get. Thanks, Nick. I know the real Lila is in there somewhere, so let's hit that party and get our best friend back. Come to think of it, I like this plan, mainly because I won't have to be the one on camera. Exactly. She'll know just what to do to impress the news crew and up our donations. Let's go. This 
party has tighter security than my grandmother's 70th birthday. Grammy was the police chief, had a lot of enemies. Hmm, with the Mod Quad in the shop, I don't know how we'll be able to get over these walls. You mean we have to go through the main entrance like actual guests? But how? Come on, Locket, give us a sign. Or a sign on a van, yeah! Whoa, 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 that's a lot of balloons, young man. Boss's orders, Miss Dillera loves balloons. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? I don't. Nasty things can pop in your face. <laughs> Checks out. Get in there before I change my mind. Quite the sniffer on that one, I'd say. Now, bigger issue, how to get this glitter out of my ears. Oh. Elephant ride? A puppy play zone? Chocolate fountain? It's like a dream. An ultra exclusive dream. Ooh, tiny snacks. Shawnee, enough with the mini donuts. We need to find Lila and fast. She's gotta be around here somewhere. Check it out. That must be Blair's family. Bingo. Let's get that Lila. Another bottle of vegan, gluten-free coconut water, please. Hi, everyone. May I have your attention for a second? I want to thank Blair and her family for hosting this fab, one-of-a-kind event filled with so many trendsetters, fashionistas, and fashionistas. <laughs> I know I speak for everyone when I say Blair is our fearless leader, a shining light of style. <laughs> Blair. You make us all want to be better humans and obviously more stylish. Love you to the moon and back. Mwah. Mwah. Smoochies. Yeah. 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 Something has definitely taken over Lila's brain. Maybe Nicholas was right about that parasite. It's like she's a Blair clone. <laughs> but she looks really happy with her new friends. This is a food drive, not a dirty laundry drive. But thanks. Sorry, but we only accept non-perishable food. And how's that working out for you? Hey, give a fork. Uh. Uh, the people who do know about the food drive don't even know what a food drive is. Uh. compete with Blair's parties. Seriously, Blair sure likes to go big. Oh boy. Hey! Um. Party crashers at 12 o'clock. Get back here! Uh -oh. Where'd they go? Oh boy. Tiny power. I think I've had too much sun today. Hey, are you still taking donations? Indeed we are. What in the known universe? This is all cardboard. <laughs> it sure is. This recycling drive is sure to be a success. <sighs> the recycling drive is down the street. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Spilled some spaghetti on my pants. Can't show up on television with spaghetti pants again. Vice Principal Simpson still hasn't let me forget the first time. Uh, Principal Mondo, I think maybe we should cancel the- Keep up the good work, champ. Uh, but Principal Mondo, I- <sighs> <sighs> Aw, hey, cutie. How 
how'd you get in here? With a little help from her friends. Lila! Polly? Shawnee? Great party, huh? The mini donuts are to die for. You're not allowed to be here. But we came with good news about news. A news crew is coming to the school to do a piece on the food drive. You like being on camera, right? Please, the Littleton local news. Both of you really need to get out of here before you get caught. But, but we need you, Lila. And I need to keep Blair on my good side so she'll endorse my fashion line. You know how much this means to me. My once in a lifetime chance. Besides, she's really nice. But we're worried about you. You've been acting a little weird lately. Uh, I'm the weird one? Who's the four-inch girl hiding in the bathroom of a party she wasn't invited to? Now I have mingling to do. If you really cared, you'd just leave me alone. Lila! What just happened? I think Lila just unfriended us in real life. Uh... I'll take that as a hello. We're leaving Blair's. Zero luck with Lila, but we'll be back soon. Uh... What'd he say? He has it all under control and eagerly awaits our return. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Um, have you seen Blair? Blair Delaware? I've been looking for her everywhere. And I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Have a nice afternoon. <laughs> There's a minute I'll never get back. Does she know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> there you are. I'd recognize that outfit anywhere. Oh, look. It's Blair's new little assistant. <laughs> Blair, are you okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? Sorry. Did something happen with one of your friends? Did someone ruin your great party? Great? Maybe for the entourage. They're all here because they want me to wear their clothes or partner up on designs or eat my delicious mini donuts. They act like they know me, but no one cares about the real me. I care. What can I do to help? What's your secret? My secret? Yeah, I've seen your photos. You have the best life ever. You're so happy, always having fun with your friends. Uh, uh, well, I want to be happy like that. How'd you do it? My best friend Polly is really the one with the secret. I mean, the happiness secret. What makes her happy? Well, I guess she's happiest when she's doing stuff to help others. Like organizing the food drive. Which I totally bailed on. Huh. Helping people. Well, I thought your secret might have been a juice cleanse or something. I bet I could get some major hearts with helping people Blair. selfies. No, Blair. Polly never thinks about how popular something will be before she does it. She does it because it's the right thing to do. Okay, but what would she do if she were me? She'd do anything to make the food drive a huge success. And for that, we need a little star power. I never thought I'd wish a parasite on anyone, but I hope that Lila has a being mean to her friend's parasite that we can blame for this. Now we have to focus on making this food drive work with the little time we have. We have to salvage something from today. It's Lila! Hello? Shani, before you say anything, I'm so sorry for the way I treated you guys. It was completely uncool. I got carried away and, and you both deserve so much better than that. I'm listening. Okay, well, I hope you two can eventually forgive me. Not now, necessarily, but eventually. Okay, great, because now is when I really need your help, more than ever. Can you guys come back to the party? Please say yes. It's for the food drive, I swear. She swears. On our way, Lila. <laughs> yes, come on! Oh, wait, you're pocket-sized. We sort of had a thing or two with the security guard. Not on the list. Right. I'll just pop you in my purse and sneak you in. Blair, I want to introduce you to some friends of the best variety. Polly and Shawnee. Welcome. Lila is your biggest fan. 
And I guess I have you both to thank for championing such a great cause. The people of Littleton really need our help. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? I took the liberty of getting Blair up to speed on the food drive and our plans to make a big difference filling up the food bank this year. I want to help. Blair sent out a social media blast to all of her followers promoting the food drive. She's gonna make a special appearance at the school today and everyone can come. Everyone? The ultra-inclusive event is already trending. Plus, Blair even wrote a big check donating to the cause. Doing good feels good. Amazing. Thanks, Blair. No credit here. It was Lila's idea. Aw, besties hug! <laughs> <laughs> now for the hard part. We gotta get Blair to the school. Getting the most popular girl out of her own party isn't gonna be easy. Yeah, we'll need three mannequins, a catering uniform, and 16 miniature donuts. The clock is ticking fast. Technically, all clocks tick at the same rate, but I get your point. Why leave the party when we can take the party with us? Hey, party people! The party is on the move. Everyone to Littleton Magnet School. But if you want to play, you gotta pay. To get into my after party, you need to donate to the food drive. Whoa, she's good. Guess we don't need the mannequins and catering uniforms after all. And the 16 mini donuts. Definitely still need those. Lila, your plan worked! Only because you guys were there to make it work. Huh. I, I don't understand. They just started showing up. I don't have enough hands for all these cans. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that Blair Delaware? Did you not recognize me? It's probably because I'm smiling. <laughs> I know, it feels weird and makes my cheeks all fluffy. Blair's here? <laughs> Over here! Over here! This is already more fun than Blair's party. You can say that again. Although, we don't have many donuts. But we do have regular donuts. It sure feels good to be around some real friends for once. By friends, do you mean fans? No, you three. And look at all the donations. This feels better than all the fashion shows and awards and... Let's not get carried away. I mean it. There was a really big difference made today, and Lila was the one who made it. Quack, quack, quack. Dance party! You two are always there when I need you. Thank you for never giving up on me. We thought we might have lost you there for a second, but we should have never doubted you. And never will again. Pocket promise. Hey, why aren't you guys dancing? Quack, quack, quack. 